Hey friend, Graham here from recordingrevolution.com, and today I want to go a little off topic. I want to show you how I am mixing my podcast inside of Apple's GarageBand. So I have another brand, another business called Graham Cochran, and I do a lot of business coaching and online business training over there every single week where I teach people how I do what I do inside the Recording Revolution, how I've turned it into a business. And so I did a little video over there showing my podcast setup inside my, my office. So I showed what microphone I'm using, the, uh, the Rode Podcaster USB microphone plugged right into my MacBook Pro, going right into GarageBand, and I record it into GarageBand. Band, I mix it and export it out of GarageBand, and it goes straight up to my podcast, and it also becomes the audio to my video podcast. And so a lot of people said, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're just using cheap, free stuff for your podcast, but they don't know who I am. I'm Graham from The Recording Revolution. That's what I like to do. So one of my friends said, well, Graham, I saw your setup for your podcast, but what are you using specifically inside of GarageBand, and what are your settings to make the podcast sound better before you share it with the world. That's what I thought I would share with you today. So here's a little snippet of the podcast after it's mixed, and then I'll take away the plugins so you can hear where it came from. It seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want to be able to have the swipe up feature. And it's all under the guise of wanting to grow their business. But at the end of the day, YouTube is a much better platform than Instagram if you actually want to put money in your pocket. Let's discuss. Okay, so let's take away some of the plugins and you can hear where this came from and then I'll show you what I'm using. It seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want to be able to have the swipe up feature and it's all under the guise of wanting to grow their business. But at the end of the day, you hear how... <laughs> how much worse that is. You can hear, obviously, it's quieter, it's not punchy, and you can hear sort of the air conditioning going on. It seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want... All right, so what am I doing inside of GarageBand? Well, there's a lot you can do. Um, there's only one plugin that I've purchased that didn't come stock with GarageBand. And let's start with that one because it's pretty, pretty powerful. Okay, so it's called NS1 from Waves, the noise suppressor. This is just a super helpful sort of post-production processing plugin, and it's just one slider. All it does is remove background noise, and it almost acts like a gate. So when I turn this on, it seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want to be able to have the swipe up feature, and it's all under the guise of wanting to grow their business, but at the end of the day, YouTube is a much better platform than Instagram if you actually want to put money in your pocket. So it obviously cleans up the background noise, the fan, the air conditioning, a lot of the reverb of the, of the office space, right? Because I'm sitting in my bar at the kitchen there. And so it, it, it cleans a lot of that up, but you know it's killing a lot of the top end and the clarity and the punch. So that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make because I can bring some of that back. So I start with that to clean it up. And then I go to the EQ, um, and this is just the stock EQ, and I'm doing a couple things here. I'm rolling off low end, right, high pass filter, just up to about 100. So you just, you just kind of roll that up to about 100. I'm scooping out a little bit around 200 to clean up some of the, the beefiness of the voice um, in the microphone, and then I'm giving it a shelf boost. This lifts up the top end. It makes the, the air come back into my voice. So take a listen to what this is doing when I add that on. It seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want to be able to have the swipe up feature. And it's all under the guise of wanting to grow their business. But at the end of the day, so it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit brighter, nothing crazy. Then I'm using the compressor. And I'm just using some basic settings here. I, I, um, I set a gentle ratio. I wish this had, you know, meters to some visual indicators, but I pulled down the ratio to something gentle, two to one, 1 1.8 to one. Um, and I sort of have like a medium attack, right? So it's really sort of generic, soft compression. And then I'm just pulling down the threshold until I feel like it's making somewhat of a difference. But I wish I, I had no visual indicator to know if this is really helping, but let's let's see if it's helping. It seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want to be able to have the swipe up feature. 
and it's all under the guise of wanting to grow their business. But at the end of the day, YouTube is a much better platform than... And to be fair, there is a little bit of a visual indicator down here. This compressor, um, it, 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 it should, I think, relate to what's going on here. I'm seeing some gain reduction. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't know if that's helping a ton. It's kind of evening out the process a little bit. So, so far, those are the three plugins I'm using on the track, right? NS1, the EQ, and the compressor. Take those three away. It seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want to be able to have the swipe up feature. And it's all under the guise of wanting... So cleaner, a little bit more up front. Then on the master, there's a master channel, and it's this little gray guy. There's just two plugins I'm using here. I'm using the exciter, and I'm using the limiter. So remember how we lost some of that top end sizzle and clarity of the voice when I used the NS1 to clean up some of the background noise? Well, the exciter really helps for that. So you could use the plugins here, or you could just see what I'm doing. Um, it's the brightness sort of knob. So when I turn that on, it's this knob here. And it's just, I'm dialing up the brightness a little bit. You can take a listen to what that does. We'll flip it off here. Wanting to grow their business, but at the end of the day, YouTube is a much better platform than Instagram if you actually want to put money in. Right, it's just a little bit brighter, so off. It seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want just a little bit brighter, right? And then with the limiter, which is down here on the left, I'm turning that on. That's what's giving it that broadcast level, making it louder, right? So before, we'll turn it off. It seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want to be able to have the swipe up feature. And it's all under the guise of wanting to grow their business. But at the end of the day, YouTube is a much better platform than... So you can see how we've already brought it back up with volume. It still sounds exciting. And it's really come a long way. If we go back to the track itself, we can keep the exciter and the limiter on so it can keep its level and some of the brightness. But we'll take off these three and you can see how far it's come. It seems like everybody I talk to wants a massive Instagram following. They want a K at the end of their name. They want to be able to have the swipe up feature. And it's all under the guise of wanting to grow their business. But and that's what I'm using inside of GarageBand to mix my podcast. Now, if you want to see the whole video explaining what gear I'm using for my video podcast, I'll link to that here. You can go check that out. And if you're interested in some of the business stuff, if you actually are interested in doing a podcast yourself, or if you're putting out YouTube content for your music or your brand, and let's face it, as a musician, we are a brand. We need to promote ourselves and grow our fan base and be able to make a living. If you want to know more about sort of the business side of things, of using online platforms like YouTube and podcasts and all that kind of stuff to grow your business, you should check out what I'm doing at GrahamCochran.com. Just about every week, I have a new piece of content podcast. It's also a YouTube video and a bunch of other exclusive content that I share over there to get you started. In fact, if you really want to start something right now, a lot of us are at home and we have time on our hands during this entire situation. And what I've been giving my students over at GrahamCochran.com is a weekly check checklist to go from no audience to putting money in your pocket in 30 days. Like I literally took everything I've ever taught on how to grow an online business and condensed it into if you need to make money quicker, and there's not many shortcuts, but at least make something. I've got a 30-day online income jumpstart guide. It is a simple PDF that I'm offering my students there to just give you a week-by-week -week checklist to start to build an audience and then find a way to monetize that audience in the next 30 days. It won't be a ton of money, but it will be something. It'll get you going and help teach you the foundations of online business. It's absolutely free. I want you to have it if you're interested in growing that side of things. Just go to grahamcochran.com slash jumpstart, and I'll link to that PDF below. It's my 30-day online income jumpstart guide, grahamcochran.com slash jumpstart. Hope that helps you and hope that gives you something to chew on if you're interested in podcasting or you wanted to know how I'm doing it with just the free GarageBand software. That's what I'm doing. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in another video real soon.